Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication. A thesis is a claim that you can argue for or against. It should be something that you can present persuasively and clearly in the scope of your paper, so keep in mind the page count. If possible, your thesis should be somewhat original. The Royal Institution is an organization that has been around for 209 years. Many of the people that have worked here have been scientists themselves, including Michael Faraday. He made the discoveries that made generating and using electricity much easier, making it possible for us all to switch on lights, cook our dinner, play games consoles much, much more.
It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that chasing the flame makes its greatest mark. With piercing insight and relentless logic, it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world. It is very easy to acquire bad habits, such as eating too many sweets or too much food, or drinking too much fluid of any kind, or smoking, etc. The more we do a thing, the more we tend to like doing it. In later stage, if we do not continue to do it, we feel unhappy. This is called the force of habit, and the force of habit should be fought against. Termites, the tiny creatures, have learned to create a comfortable home in some of the world's toughest climates. Outside, in the African savanna the temperatures vary from 40 degrees in the day to 1 degree at night. Yet, inside the mound, the temperature stays constant.
Soil is the top layer of the Earth's surface, mostly created from weathered rock. It is made up of varying amounts of minerals, humus, or decayed organic matter, and useful living creatures like worms. The finest rock particles within soil form sticky clay, the medium particles become silt, and the coarsest constitute sand. While there is sufficient moisture, soil supports vegetation, providing a habitat for a variety of animals. Pronunciation is the way in which a word or a language is spoken. This may refer to generally agreed-upon sequences of sounds used in speaking a given word or language in a specific dialect, correct pronunciation, or simply the way a particular individual speaks a word or language. In a landmark report published on Monday, the International Financial Institution called on states to reduce global emissions and bridge the development gap to avoid the effects of slow-onset climate change such as water scarcity, decreasing crop productivity, and rising sea levels.
the interludes which break up the gameplay action, and which, because they can be made to a higher level of animation, often provide the most visually arresting sequences of a game. Combined with a taste for bizarrely complicated, recursive plots, and long sequences of wordy, explicatory dialogue, this turns the games into a bit of a drag. Just as the world's fifth largest economy emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic, the post-Brexit shortage of truck drivers and a spike in European natural gas prices has left the UK grappling with the grim prospect of a potential food supply crunch and soaring energy bills. Australian scientists say they have developed pain-free blood sugar testing for diabetics, non-invasive strip that checks glucose levels via saliva for diabetics. Managing their blood sugar levels typically means pricking their fingers multiple times a day with a lancet and then placing a drop of blood on a testing strip.
There are many reasons why water tastes stale when it is kept for a long time. Microorganisms play a big role in this phenomenon. When they grow, they release chemicals into the water from their metabolic activity. This evaporates over time, so the absence of it from water left out for a long period brings about a change in taste. Tests of a drug known to stimulate brain activity have shown early success in reducing symptoms of sluggish cognitive tempo in 38 men and women with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It also significantly corrected deficits in executive brain function with fewer episodes of procrastination, improvements in keeping things in mind, and strengthened prioritization skills. New research identifies a process that might have been key in producing the first organic molecules on Earth about 4 billion years ago, before the origin of life. The process, which is similar to what might have occurred in some ancient underwater hydrothermal vents, may also have relevance to the search for life elsewhere in the universe.
A total of five ozone ascents were taken at Bharati Station, Indian Mission, Antarctica during April to June, 2016. As the stratospheric temperatures reduced to minus 82.24 C on June 20, 2016 indicating the formation of stratospheric clouds which may lead to depletion of the ozone concentration in the stratosphere, leading scientists at Bharati Station feared that Montreal Accord has not succeeded to control emission of ozone-depleting gases in the atmosphere. The audio, which includes more than 1,000 separate data files, was captured in the early 1970s by the late Hetty van der Rijd. She recorded the various screams, barks, and how calls made by a group of chimps, including 17 youngsters, living in the Gom National Park in Tanzania. Humans need to use energy in order to exist. So, it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are most concerning, because of their impact on health, result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars.
In the photo, the wildcat's huge paws are clamped onto the side of the white safari jeep in which Chapel was a passenger. Almost as tall as the jeep on her hind legs, she appears to be forcing the muzzle into the back window. Conservation scientists have long tried to map how much of the planet remains undegraded by human activity. Previous estimates using satellite imagery or raw demographic data found anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of the globe was free from obvious human incursions, such as roads, light pollution, or the gaping scars of deforestation. But an intact forest canopy can hide an emptied-out ecosystem below.